Hello everyone, welcome back to ACL Stands. In this episode, I'm going to be taking a look at this degaussing machine and uh, the LCD panel doesn't work. Display, it's a really important thing because you don't know what's going on otherwise. A high intensity electromagnetic uh, eraser, I guess is how you would uh, describe it. And you put the media in here into this tray and you can put hard drives or anything magnetic storage. What's good about this is it's just as permanent. Up erasing so a lot of the formats and things like that you can still recover the uh, data but with this thing once you do it that's it it's uh, gone for good having a look inside here I don't know if you can see this really that well I'll try and zoom in on what's going on and I'm no expert on these things but I, just by looking at it I can sort of get an idea of the components and what it's inside uh, so over here sure if you can see that but there's a transformer which I um, mean powers here comes in from the back here you've got the transformer you've got power, uh, a circuit board at the back here I can see you've got this really nice aluminium sink that's right around it you've got over here a relay I'm just going to bring that camera up over the top so you can see a bit better so a relay here probably prevent short circuiting as well uh, if we have a look over on this far side here, you can see this big yellow thing here, and I'm going to guess that's a massive resistor of some type. And if we have a look here, this massive big blue thing is actually a capacitor. And if you've never seen a capacitor this big, you have now. Uh, has the two terminals at the top here. It runs one here, and then there's another one at the bottom. And if you come over here, there's a fan at the back there's looks to be connected to I'm guessing this is some sort of converter uh, possibly could be a rectifier possibly yes and that's converting to DC now that comes through here then it runs through to coils of wire that I'm guessing run right around over the top of this tray section and uh, that enables you to slide in something and it electromagnetically uh, pulses and rearranges the magnetic particles. So that's kind of just a quick look inside. I'm, like I said, I don't know a huge amount about these things, but um, then we have the LCD panel here, which is the uh, issue. So I'm going to pull this LCD panel apart and uh, have a look and see uh, what's going on. Okay, so it's one of these 16 by 2 character LCD panels. Just by looking at this, uh, I can't see anything, so I'm going to have a look under the microscope. On vis visually, I'm just looking at things and everything looks okay. Now, I have noticed that uh, somebody actually has been in here before, and I know that because the screws on this front panel were lo loose. And also, I can see marks on the contrast. So, I'd say somebody was probably trying to fix this. Now, uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm just firstly I'm going to connect up and see if we're getting uh, five volts through to the pin here, and see if this is getting any type of flickering when we uh, connect up the benchtop power supply to it. So, make sure that this only takes five volts. 5 volts coming out of the power supply and what I'm going to do here is connect this up to the ground and also just going to run this 5 volt positive over the, the positive pin here. Okay so I can see, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, there is actually flickering going on on the LCD. So it's getting power just by looking at this I'm going to take it another quick look at this under the microscope and have a look at the uh, pins here because they do look a little bit dirty but closely I can see there's some sort of a film or residue on top of the uh, spikes here coming out for the connectors so I'm going to clean this up with some rubbing alcohol and 99% uh, IPA this looks like it may be a glue or some sort of Let's see if I can scrape that all off okay so I've given that a clean up can't see any other issues with the LCD screen just by looking at it. So before I do anything else, I think the best thing to do now is after I've cleaned that up is to test it all back up. Now the other thing is too, I want to clean out this 
connection here as well. So, okay, so the last thing I want to do is just spray a little bit of contact cleaner just down underneath the contrast dial here. So I've gone ahead and done that and uh, you can use something like deoxid. So those things can get a little bit dirty as well. I've just, like I said, I've just cleaned up the pins. I had all that stuff on there. Um, cleaned up just a quick spray of the deoxid underneath the pot here. And I'm going to test this out see if this works. Okay, so I'm just going to hook this up and try this out. Okay, so let's test this thing out. The LCD panel, like I said, it was getting some flickering. It uh, was getting power to it. So I've got the panel back in. Uh, I've got it plugged in. And if this doesn't work, it's going to be a little bit more tinkering around with that particular LCD. The panel itself, like I said, I was getting very faint flickering and the characters, I could very faintly see them. I'm hoping that all it was was just those connection pins. So let's pair it on. Hopefully we get something. Yes. And that looks pretty good. I may, may need to adjust the contrast a little bit. It actually doesn't look too bad. Now we can at least see what's going on. So there we go. That's just a quick fix on that 16 by 2 LCD panel. I'm really glad that's worked. And that's a quick look here at this degaussing machine and um, probably would go in a commercial business, I guess, destruction services. And a lot of places uh, when they retire their hard drives, they want to get rid of it and eliminate all the data. And this unit will do it. Off to tell my friend that it's all working, and uh, I think this one's going to be sold. I'm guessing it's they are pretty expensive, so I'm not sure how much they uh, go for. So, um, until next time, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next project.